Yo, what's good, YouTube? You already know who it is. King Heartless, the chosen one. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Man, you already know you the chosen one, right? The chosen ones are special. Chosen ones have star power. Chosen ones come from a family that they don't even know. You know what I mean? Like, when the heavens and the earth were more connected back then, like, what, 500, 1,000 years ago, 5,000 years ago, the heaven and the earth were, was more connected than what it is now, right? So you come from powerful, godly beings, yo. Like, chosen ones are re directly related to Moses, directly related to the Messiah, you know what I'm saying? The chosen ones, bro, you're more powerful than you know you are, right? So your light shines in a room full of darkness. Like, you got the light in you. You know what I mean? You got the light in you so that you can make anybody having a bad day have a good day. Like, not a lot of people are kind-hearted like the chosen ones, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people have a good soul like the chosen ones. You know what I mean? That's why you're hated, bro. Everyone hates you because you're the chosen one because the evil spirit in them just hates you, bro. They can't get over the fact that you have good energy. They can't, bro. You could split the sea like Moses, you know what I mean? You could do these great things like heal people. Miracles happen in your life, bro, just because you call on the power of God. You know what I'm saying? You pray to God every day. It's, it's different, bro, when you're the chosen one. God is going to give you what your heart desires. You know what I mean? Like... All the pain, all the suffering, it's not for no reason. Eventually, you will be rewarded for your efforts. You know what I mean? I think about it like this. If they not hating you, then you're not on the right mission with God. You know what I mean? You're not on the right mission for the kingdom, bro. Like, you a general out here, bro. You was a, you was a war general like Moses, yo. Like Moses, the prince of Egypt, did three 40-day fasts, three separate times. Wrote the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, God's mountain. You know what I mean? Moses took the slaves of Egypt and with the help of God, the power of God, Moses freed 500,000 slaves out of Egypt in the mass exodus. That's funny, bro, because I, I just watched that movie, Exodus, Gods and Kings, with Christian Bale. He played Moses. But, bro, Moses and just the Bible, bro. Just the Bible. When you really, like, live like one of them in the Bible, bro, you won't really feel like... I'm just different, you know what I mean? You're gonna be like the black sheep. And everyone around you, pretty much everyone is gonna be an agent of the devil, bro. An agent of the devil trying to stop your mission, trying to hinder you, trying to slow your progress. You know what I mean? Even though you know what you're doing, but that's the funny part. The more they disrespect you, the more God's wrath comes upon them. You know what I mean? Comes upon them like, their family, them, you know what I mean? They start getting sick. Like, people real life start getting sick when they try to, when they disrespect you. You can't disrespect the chosen one. You're disrespecting God. And you don't know how powerful God really is because God saves his power for, for the right time so that everyone could see. You know what I mean, bro? Like, People don't understand, bro. God is a war god. God is a is a war god, bro. Slaying evil, bro, every single day. That's all God does, bro. He's fighting battles for you right now that you can't see. 
He fighting them evil spirits right now that you can't see. You know what I mean? Sometimes the only way to battle evil is through the spiritual realm. It's through them gifts that God gave you. He didn't give you the gift of prayer for no reason, bro. Them prayers be working wonders. Them prayers is what's going to break you through. The more, the more and more and more you pray about something, even if you don't see the answer right away, like he could not answer you for a year. He could not answer you for a year and a half. But eventually you keep saying them prayers, bro. He sees what your heart desires. You repent from your sins, which means you don't do it again. And if you do do it again and you slip and fall, you still got a heart for God. So you're not you're not going to be like just falling away into sin because sin is brings death. Sin brings destruction. Sin kills you. Sin ages you faster. Sin makes you sick because you're sinning against yourself. You're sinning against your own body. You're sinning against God's temple. You feel me? So that's why, bro, like, I got lost, right? I got lost for a little while, like, probably for the past, like, year. Like, I don't know. I just been lost in there. I don't know. Something just happened, and I feel like, bro, I got to get back up and do what I'm supposed to do. Like, a lot of the times, bro, people don't realize, like, they fighting evil spirits all around them. Temptation, just evil rituals, you know what I'm saying? Warlocks and witches everywhere, bro, but that's what you got prayer for. You can't, sometimes you can't fight them, you know what I mean, face to face. Sometimes you really got to fight them in the spiritual you know what I mean? It's a spiritual battle. What's Elijah, bro? Elijah in the Bible, right? He didn't fight his enemies head on, bro. He let God fight his enemies for him. You know what I mean? And that's why his enemies, his enemies either repented for their sins or they died a miserable death. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't repent for your sins, you're going to die a miserable death and you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn in fire, bro. I promise you, bro, it's not all, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, if you die, you automatically go into heaven. That's not what it is, bro. Now, I mean, you <laughs> you live a bad life. You live a sinful life. You know what I'm saying? And that's a lot of that's a lot of problems that like modern society has, yo. Like, it's just so deep in sin. You know what I mean? You're going to die. Like, the body is not meant, it's not built to be constantly sinning. It's not like you constantly sinning, you constantly fornicating, you constantly doing drugs. You know what I mean? Eventually, your body's going to give up on you. The temple that God gave you, you're supposed to take care of it. You know what I mean? So you're, you're eventually, bro, it's not going to work out for you. Right. And that's a lot of problems that these these modern women be having, bro. They be like they want power. They want control. They want to teach, but really what they're doing is they're deceiving you because they think they know what they're talking about. They think they got the answers, but they don't have the answers, bro. I promise you, because they never done nothing for God, bro. And they and they'll try their hardest to make you believe that they've done something for the kingdom, but they've never they haven't done anything for the kingdom. And that's why the Antichrist is going to come and destroy the world, bro and persecute everybody and a lot of y'all gonna fall and fold to that system i promise you you won't be able to be out here hungry homeless you you're just gonna fold and you're gonna go back in with the beast system and you're gonna suffer for eternity because you chose the enemy over the holy god bro who got heaven bro heaven got palaces golden palaces with golden streets you know what i'm saying bro you want to be up there. You want to be burning in a fire with some with some demons because you worship demons. You worship Baal. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all worship Baal. Like celebrities on the news all be worshiping Baal. You know what I mean? Celebrities, bro. Anybody on the news, Baal worshippers, bro. When you should be worshiping the one, the most high of Israel, bro. The most high God, bro. And the Israel... The, the people who live in Israel now are not 
the people who were there originally. You know what I mean? But, bro, chosen ones have that superstar power, bro. You have the ability to just change your whole environment. Like, you could feel the evil energies when you're around them, bro. Literally, you could feel the evil energies, the bad intentions. You know what I'm saying? Like, people just weird. And they monitoring you 24-7. They watching every single move you do, bro. Every single move you do. They watching you when you take a shower. They, bro, they keeping track of everything. They keeping track of what you eat, how you take a shower. They watching you, bro. Like, they just can't, like, I don't know. There's something wrong with them, bro. Something wrong with them. Know what I mean? But they don't know. They don't even understand. They don't get it, bro. You know what I mean? But, yo, you're going to get tired of that. You <laughs> I promise you, you're going to get tired of that and you're going to become angry, bro. You're going to get mad because they illegally stalking you, illegally watching you, doing all this illegally, bro. <laughs> yo, it really is, yo. And that's the thing too, bro. Pain, pain is just an illusion, bro. Because look, 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 look. Pain, pain is just an illusion, yo. You could... Literally, bro, it's an illusion. Can't feel nothing. But you already know what it was, bro. King Hollis, the chosen one, bro. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.